Hi, I'm Plenty, and today we're going to take a quick look at installing and setting up the rotary LED sight light in your fiber optic archery sight. If you've purchased a True Glow or Apex sight, you will just use the light straight out of the package as is. For any other brand of sight, there are several other adapters that can be used to adapt the light to fit your sight housing. Just make sure you're using the right adapter. You may have also received your rotary LED sight light inside the packaging of your True Glow or Apex Gear sight. It'll be in a small plastic inner pack like this. Older styles of True Glow and Apex Gear sights came with a number of different light styles, but now they're all standardized to the new rotary LED design. It's a little bit different than some previous generations of lights, but it's still pretty simple to set up and install. So let's take a look. First, take the LED sight light out of the packaging. You'll have a small instruction sheet with some very basic setup instructions. Of course, you'll have the light itself, and you'll have a battery inside of a plastic battery clip. Depending on how you purchase the light, you may have a spare battery inside of there. The light only needs one battery, so if yours came with a spare, set that aside for later. You won't need both right now. When you take a look at the LED sight light, you'll notice that there are a couple different places where this can turn or move. So the one on the outside, farthest from the threads, is just the brightness adjustment knob. You won't need to do anything with that right now. Go ahead and look at the next section that can turn or move. That's where you're actually going to unscrew the light housing to take it apart. So you'll have the base and the cap. Go ahead and set the cap aside for now. And you'll be able to see the inside of the light. Next, take your battery inside the battery clip. Now this will work without the battery clip, but the battery clip is designed just to make this easier to hold on to and easier to manipulate. So you'll take the battery inside the clip and the number one mistake we see with this is people just putting the battery in the wrong way. So you'll see a plus on the battery. Inside the sight housing you'll see two small plus marks on the inside. On the outside there's also a mark that says BAT, B-A-T-T. That can be aligned with the plus side. So go ahead and align the pluses or align the plus on the battery with the BATT on the outside of the housing and push that battery all the way down into the sight. Then just take your cap and righty tighty turn this back onto the light. Now you can go back to that knob we discussed on the outside and turn that and you'll see the different brightness levels. So there are three different brightness levels, one, two, and three, low, medium, and high and there's an off position in between each of those. So it's nice and easy to set up the light, just make sure that battery's in the correct way. Now that you have your light assembled and working, it's time to install it into the archery sight. If you have a True Glow or Apex Gear sight, it's nice and easy. The light just threads directly into the sight. Depending on your model, it may thread into the body or into the aperture, but it just threads directly into the sight. You don't need any adapters. If you have another brand of sight, check out the adapter kit that I mentioned earlier. You can now turn the light to walk through the three brightness levels, low, medium, and high, or one, two, three. And you can, you can turn this either way to access all the brightness levels, but just as a tip, I recommend always turning it clockwise. That way you are never unscrewing the light from the archery sight. You're always tightening it. So, hope you found that helpful. Hope you got your light up and running, and now you can get out there and do some hunting.